Lights recording. On. It's recording. So there's the one Ultima. from the Harley dealership. This is the Ultima one. That's the SNS one. Big different diameter. Oh, I thought Ultima was interchangeable. So we're shooting, we're sealing up the fuel yeah. flow, but we're doing. We hey, wait a minute! I thought that Ultima was interchangeable with the SNS. It, 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 I've it, used these on several carbures at work. See, isn't that weird? Well, I'll be damned. That's what. As soon as I took this out, I realized that there's. See, that one goes inside. Now this is off the Super B carburetor. That's why it doesn't have the air cleaner. Because the DE has one that's pinned in there with something else. Oh, you brought a half inch out. Yeah, I brought my old tool out. Do this, fucker. There's one in the bike in there. One's fine with it. Isn't that weird, though? But I, did you did you? I don't know. I just put them in. I no, I'm just I'm curious to know if it's a diff, if they just so happen to make this wrong. I don't know. Randomly on this one. I have to take another one out and see how the one I have left in stock. I, I have to go in the bike in there and see if it's different. If that is different, then that's that means they manufactured that completely oh, something wrong. Made wrong. That's hard to believe. Okay, so this one just has up on or off. Yeah. So it's your B style. Yeah. This kind of had on my Super B. Well, the accelerator pump is Based junk anyway on this super thing. Super B, that might be why. <laughs> 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 you hear that pop where I turn the throttle disc back on? I'll give a couple of turns that way. Remember I showed you that? I said, why is that that why is that small? Damn. Damn, how far were we out? Two, about 17 turns. I had a half a gallon when I came over here. <laughs> Not anymore, dude. One and three quarter out now. Well, most of it's on the ground ready. <laughs> We have about an eighth of an inch down here, so I think we're seven. It's Andrew, of after us. done, I want to quickly show you something in my line. You got some more issues? No, okay. I'm just on my, on my, uh, okay, now let's see if it works this time. Timing. <sighs> Should I put this up? Turn the ignition on. I just, uh, I don't think you need it. Turn the ignition on. Spin around okay. for a second. Maybe a little. Oh, that's a lot of gas. Really dump it out oh, it, it was there was gas in there. Spitting. Well, give it two squirts. Okay. Why do you start with no throttle? Give it a little gas. I don't like gas. I like the save. It's too much. <laughs> Way better. Real slow, it goes up nice and evenly. See, I have that richer low speed you on that's what's doing that. Yeah. Before you probably had to turn on a little bit kind of hesitant. You know, Mine speed. still does that. Son of a bitch, dude. No, you should have a radius inlet in here to make the carburetor better. 
Yeah. Doing the straight edge here doesn't help it very well. Hey, you think the hesitation has to do with the accelerator? Yeah, the airplane, the airplane has that velocity stack kind of built in. Yeah. It makes a big difference on the air if there's any. Hey, system. that's why I always ran it with it on. The bike ran so much better with it on. So you think and there's that, a reason why they made those for the bike. You think yeah. that because hesitation? Because it ran, it made it run good. Why don't you put your helmet on and go try it down the street? Uh, this, this right here is a little... What do you got down on here? What's moving now? The, well, now, now I kind of twisted it back up, but... You mean this, uh... That's quality, that's actual cow's leather. Well, lighter. you have the uh, incorrect handlebar on this vehicle, sir. I know, but I switched these up because these ones are nicer. Uh, yeah, they're nice well, because the dip, they don't work. Well, I just need to push it out a little bit. Well, you're a welder. How can you not weld that up and make it round? I made, I made nice little drag bars, but the bike just doesn't, didn't, right. didn't, you know. Okay, we're gonna look, we want to check the throttle coming right off idle, the transition, because that's where the richer low-speed jet's going to be affecting you. Yeah. Well, let's see how it runs. So you got tools all over. That's not a problem taking off, is it? All those tools. So, hey, mine doesn't see. even see down in there. If you look at this, that's as low as it goes and going to the hole in this. I don't care about that. I care about sealing on the inside. Let's see what happens. All right. Rescue. If the bike ever starts again. It should start with no throttle. Tried. What'd you do, break it? Did you break it? Man, you had the good start there and you broke it. Being stubborn. It's gonna be dick with it. Give it a little gas. Not all the gas, a little bit. You broke it. What'd you do to it? It likes a little bit of gas, not a lot of gas. Yeah. Need to fix that accelerator pump. See, I was wondering if the accelerator pump doesn't work, you're not squirting the center of the bore where it belongs. Turn it wide open. on that time. Maybe it's the next ignition out of work, man. It was starting good, now it's not starting for shit. Because it's flooded like a motherfucker. No, it would have, we had cleared it out. That's what wide open throttle does. It clears out anything. So much hesitation when I let out Sound the clutch. Sound all right. Sound clean and left. When I let out the clutch, it sputters and then catches still. I, th I think it has to be the car, but the accelerator pump should not even on. So what's your set ignition time at? Just feeling it out by ear instead of doing no, it correctly? No, no, I did it. I had static. So I put yeah. it on the advanced or the timing mark and then held the lobe open and turned the plate, and that's where it snapped. Yeah, that's where it snapped. It, it really, and it starts first kick usually. I mean, it fires right up. Well, you, you checked it statically with a fully advanced, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that's where I backed it off, and that's where it, well, that's where it snapped the, or sparked the plugs. Mm -hmm. Seemed a little retarded. Not backing off. You fully advanced and hold yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so I advanced it, 
And you're on the Tommy Mark over there? Or yeah, I was on the Tommy Mark, and then I put it fully retarded, mm -hmm. and then move it until it's sparked. That's not retarded, that's fully advanced. No, I mean, I hold that fully advanced, put this plate back, yeah. I retard it, and move it forward slowly until it sparks the bugs. Yeah. And that's happy there. Okay. I just can't figure out the heck of it. Yeah, it's not quite falling over his bad. I might see that. Uh... So take a little felt tip and mark in this, this triangle right here, so you know that's up when it's hot, and when it's cold it's over here. I can do it with so this. how did it feel? I'm going to put a little felt tip mark on it. I'm going to check it out with a spoon. Can you get a spoon out here in the street? So how did it feel going down the street? Uh, pretty much the same. The only reason why I say that is because my foot is right here, yeah. in this pant right here. It's sucking in. Likes to just go like this. That doesn't, to... that doesn't affect power, does it? But I'm saying that, that definitely, the teardrop, made the bike run amazing. Well, now having this... Right now you're open doesn't help anything at all. No. <clears throat> the thing is, I, I fattened up a low speed jet, so does it seem like it likes it or it made no difference or... I mean, like I said, I haven't ridden it in so long. Mm -hmm. just, if, I, if I came from my house to here, which is less than a mile away. Yeah. So like, if I could and actually... Running, and it wasn't running right anyway. It, exactly, so okay. I wouldn't say I noticed any difference only because... Well, if it's taking the throttle nice and smoothly, yeah. no hesitation anywhere, it's good. If you're giving a little bit of gas and start spinning the carburetor, it's lean. And if you're giving it gas, it just won't go, won't go, won't go, and then all of a sudden it takes off, that's easy to rich. Yeah. It's a lean sign, or if it starts, you hear it gurgling, get real heavy exhaust note, then yeah. it's too rich. That's just one of mine, dude. When so. I start, when I let the clutch out and try to give it gas, it bogs down and then catches and takes off. Yeah. It's pissing me off, dude. It makes starting off from a stop. You have to really get on the gas for a smooth. What Luckily, jet we got on yours? What? What jet's in that one? We changed it. 72 and... The, what was our low speed? 268 was it? Or no, and then you gave me the 231. And I needed to put that in. I wrote it in there, but... Oh, well, you got 29 in it? What do you got yeah, in Yeah, 29 right now. 29 and a 72. What would you have in it before? That's what it started. I had a 29 that had like an 80-something in it, and you gave me the 72. So you haven't tried a 31 on the low speed? No, and that's what you gave me. So I put it in there, and it seemed normal. But it's almost like, because I'm not running an accelerator pump, but it really struggles. From a dead stop getting going, it right when the clutch is engaged, it, it sputters. Mm -hmm. And it's, I don't know if it's a clutch issue. I mean, um. Well, you're coming off idle is the problem. It's not taking it right off idle. No. So when you put the bigger low speed jet, did it get better or get I worse? I think it did. I need to put it back in. I was trying to test it too. I don't have an accelerator pump on either. It's all the way turned off. Turn it on a little bit. I can't. Oh, some, idiot, ro some idiot. Some idiot grinded shortened the rod, the rod too much. We made a Wait new a minute, rod. We made a new rod. I know. I got to put it in there. The accelerator pump is when you first when you roll it onto it. That's what the accelerator pump's job is to fatten up yeah, under yeah. load condition right there. But the island, the low speed jet, if it's the correct one, it will carburetor right through there with no hesitation anywhere. Like if it's too rich or too lean, it, it stumbles a little bit. See, once it's off idle and going, I've no, there's no hesitation. It's only it's right off on, idle, which is your off, which is a low speed jet. Yeah, only on, only when it's moving. Only yeah. when it's uh, it's actually under yeah. load. Like so you got to play with it a little bit, but you got to get the further pump played in a little bit. Yeah, it's but only the under biggest load. thing is you got to get the low speed jet to be the right one. So you got to yeah. go up or down with that until it works. It just struggles off stop under load, and then once. So you're gonna run an air cleaner on this, or are you leaving it open? Um, no, I want to put the the other one. Well, no, I don't want to run that because it's so big and bulky. It hides this beautiful Motor? trouble head. Yeah, well, that's the problem, though. Yeah. And that thing, it looks cool, but just sucks. Doesn't, doesn't flow any air. Yeah. That's the problem. Small air cleaners look good, but they don't have any air flow. Yeah. So, I'm going to buy one of those. So, they, one got stolen. so okay. they have issues with uh, the airflow issues. So. Yeah, that's what... I mean, on the freeway, I think it runs like shit with nothing there. It just truly does. Well, it's because you don't have the velocity yeah. stack feeding the air into it. Yeah. If you actually put a velocity stack on it hanging up about three inches, that thing would run like crazy. You wouldn't believe how much power you got. Yeah. 
but oh I mean the teardrop when it's really short you don't have the power it's just like having real short pipes they don't work you got to have length on yeah, to make it yeah. get the tuning correctly yeah the, the teardrop it has nothing to do with back pressure it's a tuning between the time between there and the valve is a tuning thing yeah. when the pipe's way too short the time is off when you got long length to it the time is correct but that dictated by engine size cam jaw pipe down and a lot of other stuff too but Anyway, if you put something on a car, but if you just put the velocity stack, a little curved piece in there, it'll run better. But Why? Just because it's just the one that's fanning out? No. Still the big ass hole? No, you would do a little, like oh, have a finger right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little short stub stack. Look, they may have like a little teardrop one, all that. Harley used them on, the, on their Screaming Eagle air cleaners. They had that plastic one that bolted in there, and you can modify and put them on these things a lot of times. It's plastic? It's plastic. Because they were screaming to go back and play. Yeah. They had a flat aluminum vacuum plate and they had a plastic low velocity stack that looked like the SNS air cleaner. Yeah. If you have a broken SNS air cleaner, you just cut all the sh air cleaner away and just keep the sack in there. That's why I've seen people take that teardrop, but, cut it out, and make it smaller. I would take your SNS vacuum plate, put it on there, and get yourself a little small little K and N air filter. You can get a mini teardrop. And somehow attach that to the vacuum plate. They have a miniature teardrop you could run. And that would work. Yeah, and that's why I that's why I started I ran this thing because without that, well, yeah, know, no. it had that. You have to have that when you don't have the stock air cleaner. Yeah. Well, like I said, the key is to have the little velocity stack in there that's to smooth up the airflow. Yeah. Because it lets it go in nice and you know it makes it going straight. Right now it's going 90 degrees in turn. And it's all turbulent airflow. It's terrible. Yeah. And with your leg right there, wow. you know between your pant leg shutting off and how the air hits your leg and whether it goes in or out of the carburetor, yeah, yeah. it changes the fuel mixture curve big, big time. All the time dude. And with dog shit on my other foot peg, because somebody So anyway, you gotta figure out what you're gonna do and you gotta adjust the car the mixture to make it work. Yeah. So right now it's, it should be pretty close how it runs. See if it'll start up, it should start. You make it work today. You need exercise. We're not sure exact on the timing, but it should be close. See, it tried. Yeah. You didn't give it. You get a little bit of throttle when you do that, but okay. It, it did try to start, so we know it's close. But play back the video and look at the curve and see if that's in the same spot as where it was. I feel like when we looked at it, remember, it, I thought we even said it looked like it was this far advanced. Well, actually, go back and look at the curve and put it back where you thought it was. For some reason, your timing lights are not working, so obviously there's something wrong with the plate. It blew the LED out or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it runs, so that ain't the problem. So just put it back where it was because it was working before pretty good. And that light, man, the light's helpful. But it, it should be pretty damn close. So well, it only has so much this way and that way. Well, you got what is the light really telling me? It tells you when the ignition fires. On top dead center or something? It comes off the top dead center yeah. mark. On yours, his comes off the timing yeah. mark, which is different. I mean, I could just put a little paint mark on my piece. Whoa. Find it. When did it, what year did it start coming off the timing mark? The timing mark is everything that's non-electronic ignition. Oh, okay. That's electronic ignition. Mine's just electric pickup, right? Yours electronic pickup. It still has a mechanical vance in it. Should this starts, has, this starts, is a fix, it. lock solid, so that's electronic. That's the difference. So this goes off the top dead center mark. That comes off the timing mark. The timing mark's 30 degrees before top dead center. If you time that on, the t on TDC, the thing will be so retarded it won't run. If he times this on the timing mark, it's so much advanced and it would be hard to start and not my run for shit. Yeah, yeah. And that's plate. what I was worried about where you had it in the wrong spot. Yeah. But it doesn't seem to be. For some reason, it, it liked it. Hey, who's, where's this going here? Well, it's close because I, I just the, when I'm just the, cur the timing while it's running, yeah. it wants to be in kind of that area. So yeah. we're in the right area. So. so maybe the tiniest bit? Well, three or four degrees makes a difference, but yeah. you know, it does make a difference. But, but we're close. That's why it still runs. Yeah. But the the thing is, something was way off, and the, the way off part was the choke was wrong. That was wrong. So because <laughs> it's breathing through that hole right there. <laughs> That's why you don't go to Harley dealership to get this. No, you don't go to Tetra Machine. <laughs> oh, he's gonna admit it. That's why I bought that. <laughs> but I don't know why there was a work. big sticker that said "Made in China." It said it works on that the other bike. That was the problem. It works on the bike in the shop. So I don't know what the deal That's is. What, I know, but I'm curious to know if that has a bigger I don't know, I got, like I got, if they just so happen to machine it wrong. I know I gotta tear it apart and look at it. Yeah. My guess is no, but I bet you it's so the same. So you think it's the same? It probably is. So then that means this is different. I don't know what's yeah, different. That's different. Something's that's different. So weird. Something's different. 
Because the one I have at my house that's made for the with yeah. the teardrop or the backing plate is a lot fatter than that, which is well, the same, the probably same, the same size as that. Yeah, the same Because you even heard it when you dropped it down into it. You yeah. could hear it. Well, I was going in hard. I know it was in there. Yeah. So. Anyway, it worked. All right. Well, I'll test it out. Ride it. Let me know what you think. Okay. Uh,